Hey, as a pastor, I've encouraged church members to use apps like Telegram and Signal for privacy. What I want to do right here is just provide some quick help for starting to learn how to use Telegram. Let's focus on messaging. There's a bar across the bottom with four things, contacts, calls, chats, and settings. Let's go ahead and press chat. On, on the right side, you've got the little symbol or the name of the person you're chatting with. Uh, then in the middle, you have the message. And over here on this side, you'll have a push pin. If it's a pin message, we'll talk about that in another video. Or you'll have a little number here, like a circle with a number in it that shows you how many messages have been there to, uh, that have happened since that message went out. You'll have also, all along this side, you'll have the time. If it was today, you'll have the time. If it was on a different day, like here's a message that came on Tuesday. If it's older than that, you'll just get a number, like the date, the 26th of February. If it's been sent and, and the other person has seen it, there's two check marks right on top of each other. If it's just been sent and not uh, seen by any, the other person, there's only one check mark. So that's what you get on that side. Now let's look at the lower right area of each message. This is kind of the main thing we want to look at here. There are two things. There's channels and chats. So if you don't see an eyeball symbol there in the lower right corner, then you're, talk, you're looking at a chat. If you see an eyeball symbol, you're looking at a channel. Now a channel is kind of like a billboard or a bulletin board. It's like looking at a web page. It's, it's sort of information that's broadcast to you. So when you see that eyeball, you can see a little number next to it, and that's the number of times in the last four days that that item has been viewed. Let's go back to find one that has an eyeball in it. Let's go over here. All right, here is, uh, here's a fella, sent a post. This is, this has got an eyeball down here at the bottom. Now this is a, this is a channel. The channels have an eyeball and it tells you how many views. This message has been viewed that this person has sent. He's in England. It's been viewed 2,600 times, 2.6K. Let's look at um, 7th Day Adventist Message Center. This is another channel. And a lot of these are from uh, Kenya and different parts in Africa. Here you have, um, this is a chat. You see there's no eyeball. But a channel is something you're viewing like you're viewing a web page. So that's the fundamental difference uh, just to sort out what is a chat and what is not a chat. If it's got an eyeball symbol at the bottom right, it's a channel. If it doesn't have the eyeball symbol, it's a chat. Just kind of an orienting piece here for getting started. Chats send text messages back and forth to the other person or persons in the, in the chat. You can be chatting with a whole group of people. They can all be sending messages back and forth, or you could just be chatting to an individual. Okay, let's go over here again, and let's look at uh, somebody who we have a, a personal message here. Here's a message I, that I had back and forth, and I haven't responded. Here's a message from my friend Moses, and... Uh, and we have here, um, I asked him if I could use, show his message in the chat. And so there you have the message. And by the way, there's no eyeball here. So that's a chat. Everything that doesn't have an eyeball in it is a chat. This little symbol, this little arrow means you can forward it. Like if I want to forward this link to somebody, I just press on it. And it'll give me options about who I can forward them to out of my chat, con out of my contacts for for this. So anyway, that is a little bit about that.